Sendo Rage, you say that DK rap is the best thing to happen to gaming. It's certainly one of the best things to come out of this game. I'm glad they referenced it in the Mario movie recently. When Donkey Kong shows up and the Donkey Kong rap starts playing, that was amazing. That was an amazing moment. So we're gonna skip the opening cinematic because it is largely unskippable and also kind of slow. I wanna jump right into the platforming. So I actually never played, well, I did play this game, but I never beat it because as I found out getting into it, I played about two or three hours and very quickly found out that it is very, very tedious having to constantly swap between five different characters. You know, you only have a few unlocked at the start, but eventually, uh oh, a beaver just spawned on me. That's unfortunate. But eventually you find out that you have to swap between multiple different characters and just, just the 500 pickups for each individual Kong you gotta frequently swap back and forth, back and forth, and it's, it's very frustrating. But uh, there is a patch out, I suppose, a fan-made patch that allows you to change characters at the push of a button, and I believe that will make the game a lot more enjoyable. The constant character swapping was definitely a prominent criticism of this game, and also it factors into one of my biggest criticisms for Banjo-Tooie, another one of Rare's games that came out around this time. I was downloading a few Fallout 4 mods, and I was gonna play an adventure or two, but ultimately decided, nah, we'll just relax with a little bit of Donkey Kong 64. Yeah, we're gonna grab this first collectible and start playing some Nintendo 64, Donkey Kong 64, one of the only few games that required the expansion pack add-on. Did it require it? It definitely, it definitely came packaged with it. I'm not sure if it was required or not. So there you have the ability to swap between five different characters, but you only start with Donkey Kong unlocked. So we'll make our way to the first. Over here, you dumb ape. I'm the mighty Bee Locker. And don't think you're coming in here without some golden bananas. Uh, I got a banana, don't worry. Got a banana for you. Here, have a banana. Hey, is that a banana? All right, that's a whole banana. I'm gonna go home and eat my banana. Goodbye. You say the expansion pack doesn't do anything, except the kings and beavers seem to have a rivalry. Since the beavers chew down the Kong's banana trees, it's shoot on sight. I see. Here I thought the Kong sort of welcomed the beavers, making it easier to get the bananas. But I guess that's only uh, a short-term solution. In the long run, that would be bad for their banana supply, yes. How did he get that? Very good, but you'll need more than brute strength to stop me this time. Maybe a gun. Yes, you'll definitely need a gun. I guess that means that this is the Shadow the Hedgehog of Donkey Kong games, eh? Because Donkey Kong gets a gun. Gather as many bananas as you can before going through one of these portals. Don't worry. I will be grabbing all of the collectibles I can. And once I get to that area, I will throw those bananas. Yep, I know. So it's a collect-a-thon. You just collect as many things as you can, and it'll open up more opportunities for you. That's the basic premise. Unlock the quick warp pad, because these levels are kind of big, so being able to warp back and forth between them is definitely welcome. Oh, I missed. Hold on, let me get there. All right. Swing on the vine. So only Donkey Kong collect can collect yellow bananas, which uh, is a bit odd. Think about it. And landing on this switch drops down this gate. Allowing me to connect, uh, collect these yellow coins. Only Donkey Kong can collect the yellow coins. Oh boy, bats. Yes. Every collectible had a specific Kong requirement. So, a lot of back and forth backtracking was required to beat this game. Again, hopefully that will be largely eliminated with the Tag Anywhere patch. And there's Diddy Kong, behind bars. Right behind a golden banana. Well, I'm going up there anyway to get the golden banana, so I will hopefully be able to free Diddy Kong while I'm up there. Squawk! Uh, gotta get 25 golden bananas in the map, but I might not be able to get all of them just yet. Okay, so where are some more yellow collectibles? Because I can only collect the yellow collectibles. Boink. There is a boulder here. I don't think I can use that. And there's a yellow balloon, but I need my gun before I can shoot down that. Another work pad, a few more bananas for me. Good, good. You were too dumb as a kid to get very far in this game. At least you got the best Kong unlocked Lanky. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people played this game, but not a lot of people beat it. 
And I beat a lot of games as I got them, you know? I, I beat basically every Nintendo 64 game I had. But uh, I never got around to beating Donkey Kong 64. Because it's difficult. It's a tough game. <laughs> Unlock Punished, punished Kong. <laughs> I love that. I have coins for you, and you're going to give me a gun in response. I'll pay you for it. The Coconut Shooter. Donkey Kong 64 is a long game. Indeed, which is why I am playing with the tag anywhere to hopefully shorten how long that takes. Well, now we have the gun, and we grab these bananas up here. I need to get over there, but I don't think I can jump up there from the roof. Whoop. Press C to transport yourself to K. Rule's Battle Arena and beat his goons to win a crown. Uh, okay, I can do that, I think. Teleport to beat his goons. Beaver Brawl, all right. I'm down to half health, but it's all right. Just keep on smacking the beavers. I am on a time limit though, so I gotta be a little careful. Ooh, ooh, brutal beatdown. Oh boy. There was a lot of momentum on that kick, eh, Donkey Kong? Okay, I guess let's try that again. If only I had that tornado move that Link has in uh, Super Smash Brothers. That'd be pretty, or the one he's, the one that Donkey Kong has in Super Smash Brothers. Instead of, yeah, this. I can stand still and smack, or I can do this one karate kick that takes me all around the place. Yeah, I've gotta be very careful. It's very unwieldy. Powerful, but unwieldy. Is that enough? Oh no, I'm gonna, ah, uh, did I get it? Whoa, barely, I think I barely got it. All right, I'll take that, free crown. Not free, I had to work for it. Yeah, second try, not bad. Yes, I'm aware of that anecdote. When Rare, the company that made this game, showed the gun concept to Miyamoto, they used an actual double barrel shotgun and Miyam <laughs> Miyamoto had this look at his face and Rare realized, Mike, I gotta confess I never got a chance to fully play this game and I'm kinda least you didn't have to buy another expansion chip for the N64. Yeah, that, that's kind of painful. Those, I imagine those are kind of rare. Ah, rare! <laughs> but yes, Miyamoto was displeased and rare knew once they saw the look on his face. They knew they had made a mistake. But luckily he was chill about it. Uh, I'll hop into this, shoot myself up here. I believe Diddy is up. There we are. Hey, Diddy, here I am. You freed! Possibly. Yeah. You might need some of Funky's help to get me out of here. Don't worry, I got the gun. I need to shoot that switch. And that switch. And also that third switch. If I shoot all the switches, the monkey will be released. Good. Gotta free the monkey. Where can I find these three switches? I wasn't paying attention. Ooh, bananas. Nice. Ooh, and a warp pad, nice. And that's a peanut shooter for Diddy Kong, not for me. Oh, time to use the gun. Yeah. Got it. Ooh, a couple bananas. All right, I'll take that. There we go. So I gotta reholster it. It's pretty difficult. Gotta hit, gotta crouch and hit the holster button. Okay, well we got the Snide's headquarters. Oh yeah, I gotta go in here. He's gonna tell me to go get some blueprints, I think. I don't have any blueprints for him right now. I haven't, haven't found any. Hey, get me some blueprints. I'll give you some machinery or something. I don't know. It's been a while since you played this game, so you probably don't know what I do anymore. But if you, if you gotta find some blueprints and bring them here, I'll, I'll make stuff for you. Get out of here. Yeah, you ain't got none. Go and shoot those three switches like you saw in that very small cutscene. Okay, I'm off to shoot. I'm off to shoot. Classic bees and beaver enemies. All right, shoot that. That's one. One out of three. Ooh, what's this? Ah, oh, small minecart area with some grenades. I'll take it. And here's switch number two. Perfect. And there's a banana over here, I do believe. Yes. Watch out for the bee behind me. Come here. I'll get you. Nailed it. Eventually. And that third switch is somewhere... I think it's over that, over top of this over here. Yeah, that's where that switch is, but unfortunately, I can't get it from the uh, coastline over here. You'd think I'd be able to, but the it's, it's, it's got a far low distance. Yeah, I'm too far away for it even to appear, so I gotta get closer before I can shoot at it. 
so it actually appears. Zellion, you got garlic breadsticks and pizza? That sounds delicious. You know me, I, I love me some garlic and breadsticks and pizza and all that stuff. If it, the more carbs, the better I say. Okay, and we'll shoot right here. And Diddy Kong should be free now. Yippee, way to go, DK. I can collect red bananas. I'll just go wait in the tag barrel until you need me. You could wait in the tag barrel, or alternatively, I can hit left on the D-pad. And now I'm suddenly Diddy Kong, all right. That'll make things go a lot faster. Woo! -hoo! And now you can see all the red coins and stuff. And we can go grab, go grab them as Diddy Kong. And we can go get Diddy Kong's weapon. I think he's actually a faster swimmer than Donkey Kong too. Or maybe he's a fa maybe he's faster at ground traversal. I don't know. Yeah, this music's kind of a jam, isn't it? Here you go, the peanut shooter for three coins. Peanut pop guns. You know, just like those guns you used in Super Smash Brothers. This is where they originated. They're they're done in the exact same way. Crouch and pull it out of your holster. I didn't want to continue playing Ocarina of Time, you ask? I will. I'll get, get around to it. I don't want to cram it all into one session. I was planning on playing some Fallout 4 today, but I just kind of felt like relaxing with some Donkey Kong instead. I love me some platformers. I really do. They don't make them like they used to anymore. I did see that there was an update to uh, that Kiwi platformer game I played. Oh, there's some bananas. Hold on. Hey, there we go. Nice. I did see that there was an update to... Uh, Super Kiwi 64, so maybe we'll play that sometime soon. Super Kiwi 64 is a PlayStation, or not a play, it's, it's a Nintendo 64 style game available on Steam for three bucks. It's great, you can beat it in not that long at all. Second banana, and there was just a free update added to it. I feel like I'm getting spoiled. They don't make them at all anymore. Well. You do have things like Hat and Time and Ukulele. You know, they don't always succeed. They're still being made. It is just more of a niche audience. Hello, red bananas. Don't mind if I do. Ignoring the bee. Oh yeah. And the peanut pop gun can be used right here. Woohoo! Was that open? A new path? Is this going to be timed? Okay, does not seem to be timed. Cool. Hello. Is I go in here? What's in here? Just going up that ant hill and I saw that hole appear. I wonder if I'll need Cranky's help. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, I got the guns. Wait, is it Cranky's help I need? I don't know. Well, there's definitely a few collectibles I can grab before I leave, if nothing else. Oh boy, I'm having trouble. All right, guess I'm not going up that way. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! Let me grab some red bananas. Red bananas means they're ripe, right? I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly. I'm not a banana expert, what do I know? Yeah, here we go. All right, and a bunch. And now we shoot this, which opens up a pathway that is gonna be timed. But I wanna get these coins first, hold on. Maybe, maybe I'll have time to get both. Ho ho! Well, I guess that's only one coin. Fine. Where is the thing I need to use? It's over here, isn't it? All right, I gotta go activate that again. I wasted too much time dicking around. <laughs> oh no, my gym coach is here. G gym coach? Yeah, he's teaching me how to gym. Gym teacher is the word you were looking for, Mike. Try again. All right. Put these away and do some platforming. Just gotta jump on top of these stacks of dynamite. Oh yeah, we got plenty of time. Provided we don't fall off like this and get glitched in the coal. Yeah, we're gonna have to go activate that again. Bummer. There are actually red bananas. Just like uh, red potatoes. That makes sense. Bang. I'm gonna get up there this time. Third time's a charm, you know? Provided I don't fall off again. Out of my way. Out of my way, beavers. Okay, can I get the camera to cooperate with me? The camera, the biggest enemy, you know? All right. All right. All right, woo, all right, nice. And the switch activates, what now? If I were a Kong, what kind of Kong would I be? A fire Kong? Yeah! I'd be a Kong that looks like Junkrat from Overwatch. My head would just be on fire. Or Ghost Rider, I'd be the Ghost Rider Kong. Ha, 
what is this film for? Apparently I don't have access to it, whatever it is. But what if that's the subversion there? Every other Kong gets a gun, but you get to that last one. The one that's, you know, kinda, kinda kind-hearted. And instead of having a gun, he just gets a camera and he's supposed to shoot things with his camera. That'd be fun. Chunky Kong, I believe. Oh boy. We got some uh, incoming artillery bombardment. I'm not sure if I can do what I need to do in this level just yet, but we'll try. Gotta watch out for these enemies. Can I pound this switch? All right, never mind. I'm just gonna grab this. Gonna grab this coin. Hold on. There's another balloon I can shoot over here. Come on. There we go. Any more. DK. Chunky's dead. Top up the conveyor belt. Hopefully not falling off. Not exactly as easy as it looks. And I don't think. Yeah, I must not. Yeah, I must not be able to go this way yet. Unless I can blow this door open. No. Yeah, I might need to go talk to uh, somebody else before I can open up the things in here. Still, I got some collectibles. That's nice. Ah, uh, yeah, Grant Kirk. Grant Kirkhope. I don't believe he's a rare developer, but he is the uh, main music composer for the the rare games. Oh God! It is time. I didn't realize it was time. That's bullshit. All right. Good to know that that's timed. Try again. Welcome, Chris Hall. Thank you for stopping by again. Are they rare because there's only one left? They certainly were rare back in the day, and now they're even rarer. Third banana. Fourth? Fourth banana. Fourth banana. What else can we do in this area? I need to go talk to somebody. How do I get this banana? I'm not quite sure just yet. All right, well, it's, I guess it's time to start running around and seeing if I can open up some new areas. Or this area is already opened up, so... Yeah, let's go down this area as Donkey Kong so we can collect the yellow bananas. <laughs> hey, no backtracking here for me. There's still gonna be some backtracking, I imagine. I wonder, do we all have the sh same shared health bar? We must have. Now, I can't get in that direction until I have the Talon Trot or Lanky Kong. Oof. Nice ground pound, nerd. There's Cranky Kong. And there's a balloon I can shoot with my gun. Oh, I got that. That's nice, I guess. Whatever that was. Was that to indicate that I can now use the scale? I don't know. Oh, wait. Does Cranky Kong teach you new moves? Cranky's Lab. What gun would Zack have that's coconut-based? He'd have some kind of rapid-fire SMG-style coconut gun. Maybe it's not coconuts, but... Some kind of grapefruit SMG, yeah. He's gonna ask, wants money for potions. All right, sure. Baboon Blast. You can now play the Barrel Blast courses. Find my pad with your ugly mug and press Z to launch yourself on your way. Okay. I'm not letting you have another potion yet. Come see me on another level. Okay, 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 okay. But, will you give Diddy Kong a new potion? Eh? Eh? I'm a new Kong? Uh, yes, a new potion for three coins. Let's have a chug and see what it do. Drinking some Mountain Dew Baja Blast. You've got a powerful shoulder barge. Press and hold Z and press B. All right, cool, cool. I'm sure there are other Kongs on subsequent levels. Does that mean I have to come back as those Kongs? Oh, there we go, there's the charge attack. All right. Is that how I get these huts destroyed? Is that how I destroy these huts? No, apparently not. Do I ground pound? No. Okay. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to use the rhinoceros. Yeah, break open the rhino boxes. You say I got the banana medal because I collected 75 bananas in a level. I see. All right. I'm going to be a rhino and I probably, yeah, I can't collect the yellow coins. To return to being DK, press an old Z and then, so basically I got to holster my rhinoceros. All right. Now we can destroy these, probably. Yeah, there we go. Just gotta destroy, destroy everything. There, now we're gonna destroy all the huts. Is there anything I haven't destroyed yet? Can I go further? Can I take this rhino somewhere else, or is the magic gonna wear out? Well, I can not go that way for whatever reason. Hold on. Can I not charge this thing? I'd certainly like to. Maybe that's a wall that's only there if I'm the rhino. I don't know. Nope, okay, and it wore off. 
Okay, so sure enough, that wall isn't there if I'm not the rhino. Good to know. Oh wait, is it this one? Oh, the wall is still there if I'm not the rhino. I'm curious, I'm curious what that's all about then. Odd. Hello, Panzer. Terranera, welcome, welcome. Well, now that we've destroyed all these huts, we can use the switches that they were on top of. That's for Tiny Kong. That's for Lanky Kong. I didn't collect all of the coins that were in there. Let me grab those quick. Yellow banana for me, and then we do a ground pound. Which does what? What's that do? Unlocks a banana near the world entrance. Very well. Is it time? It's gotta be timed, isn't it? Maybe? I hope not. What about this one? Okay, another banana near Cranky's Armory. Hopefully not timed. Oh crap, it's timed, okay. Can I warp there with four? I don't know where that goes, probably not. I'm going on foot, and I'm hoping for the best. I might very well need to warp. Oh yeah, almost, I absolutely needed to warp, because here's the four, all right. We'll just activate that and try it again. Whatever happened to Ocarina of Time? We played a little bit of it recently, and we'll get back to it soon. Why, are we looking forward to it? You want to see more Ocarina of Time? It's a great game, isn't it? A lot of people think it is. Okay, let's go. Warp pad number four. Teleport over there. You say all the backtracking reminds you of the Arkham games. I gotta say, I only played one or two Arkham games to completion, and I don't remember the backtracking being that bad. Oh boy, it's over here, isn't it? I gotta climb this vine quickly, oh no. I'm running out of time. Go, 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 go. It's up this way. Yes, it's right here, take a left. There it is. Yeah, there we go. So is this a passageway that I can go down now? No, okay. It's just a little alcove, got it. Can I get that one that Donkey Kong unlocked? Possibly. Yeah, that one wasn't timed. Can I get it as Diddy? I can't. Silly. That's silly. Was there a proprietary sticker on it? You say, games like this are made to be just pure fun, but you're so OCD that it's gonna bug you if you miss even a single collectible. I, I hear that. I absolutely hear that, 100%. You say, Ocarina is fun? Yeah, I enjoyed it. And I'll be getting back to it eventually. So where else can we go now? Oh, we haven't down, we have not yet been down here. So let's grab these collectibles. You got red hair, does that mean you're one-shotted by Diddy Kong? Apparently not one-shotted. Okay, you just will not die, huh? There you go. Hey, you have a red blueprint. Okay, I gotta make sure to kill you if I see you because you got blueprints apparently. Oh, hold on. Apparently I cannot change while I'm swinging, so there we go. Oh God, I fell down. How do I get back up? Oh, it's not that far. It's your banana, I didn't see your name on it. <laughs> okay, now we're back where we were. Which means I believe there was a, uh, a crocodile with yellow hair, not a crocodile. Blue. I'll beat you up, but I think you might need to be defeated by Tiny Kong. Yeah, only Tiny Kong. As silly as it sounds, only Tiny Kong can pick that one up. Ridiculous. And I don't even have that character unlocked yet. What's up here? Yeah, I can't get through this, can I? I tried with the rhino, but I wasn't able to. Maybe I didn't hit the right abilities. Well, we've pounded all of these switches. Maybe there's something up this tree that I missed? Well, from my vantage point up here, it doesn't look like there's much of anything. Okay, okay. We'll try this rhino again one more time. What kind of music do I think a raider would listen to without care for lore? Tool, yeah, I, I can see that happening. Death metal, maybe. All right, here comes a charge attack. It's not working. I'm not sure what I need to do to get past this. Oh, okay. I'm not sure, I guess I had to hit it at just the right angle. Oh, very well. What's appearing over here? Is it a fairy? That's the fairies! Bonk, I hit it. I don't know if that did anything, but I hit the fairy. Well, now what? What am I supposed to do with this fairy here other than shoot at it? The fairy doesn't do anything. Yeah. I really don't know what that fairy is for. Ha 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 ha! Very confusing. Is there... Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that fairy is all about. I can't seem to interact with it. A door with a terrible... Yeah, it's, it might just be a door with a terrible hitbox, that's fair. <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, boulder I can't lift without Chunky's help. Some health. And maybe a boss battle? You need 60 bananas at Trough and Scoff. Gotta feed you 60 bananas, though. Okay. I believe I've got 60, sure. It seems a bit faded, maybe treat it with Diddy Kong. Uh, that's not a bad idea, I'll give that a try. Or maybe I need an item that I get later, that, that's also possible. Marvelous. What manners? Oh, who gets to participate? Donkey Kong? Diddy Kong or question mark? It's Donkey Kong's battle time! Or challenge, or mini game, or whatever. Very well, Donkey Kong. The honor is yours. If you can call it that. What are we doing? Who are we fighting? Is this the armadillo fight? Oh, it's a bit of a seizure there. A lot of flashing light. It's the armadillo! The armored armadillo. Ah, yes. With rocket launchers. Okay, what's your... What's your battle plan here? One, three... Oh, okay, you're gonna fire four volleys. Why did that pig have nipples? All pigs have nipples. What was he supposed to do? Sand them off? And now we avoid getting squished. If we can help it. And now he's gonna return to his attack barrage. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you got me. Seven, eight, nine. I'm not sure if there's a rhyme or reason or a pattern there. Now to make sure that he can't actually run me over, which is kind of tricky. A lot of flashing lights, actually. I guess I should have put out an epilepsy warning, because that's a lot of flashing lights and the thunder's clapping like that. There you go. Is that the rule of three? Are we done now? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, he's... He's not doing so hot, and away he scurries! Leaving a key in his wake. Which I don't know what it opens. It's the 90s, what is epilepsy? <laughs> Can I eat it? Squawk, nice going, DK. Looks like he got a key back. Oh, yes, there was a key that I can use on a cage back in the hub world. I need six of them to free a person. Or a crocodile. That door disappears, all right. I guess we're done in this small cavern. At least until we have uh, Chunky Kong to break open that rock. Is there anything else that we can do right now? I don't know. Well, not in this area, not in area number four. Is this a new path we can go down? I think it might be. Maybe we haven't gone down this path yet. Can't recall. Ah, Donkey Kong, you want some blueprints? There you go. Yeah, get your blueprints. You go ahead and get that. There you go, King Kong. We'll turn that in later. What else is down here? Uh, the purple-haired one, which is for Lanky, possibly? Either Lanky or Chunky, I can't recall. And this door is locked until I have Feather. I don't know what Feather is. Um, is that the charge attack? No. I don't know who fires feathers, but I guess I can't go that way. Chunky, eh? Okay, I guess we're done in for this. We're done for this cavern area for now until we unlock more characters, I suppose. In fact, I think we're done with this entire level until we unlock more characters. I don't think there's a whole lot more we can do at the moment. What kind of hair color do you have? It looks white. Oh, I guess it's white. Yeah, because you already dropped your thing. That makes sense. Well, I guess we head back. Oh, I gotta get some bananas here. Where does this go to? Oh, it goes to this over here. I didn't see this earlier, but let's go ahead and activate whatever this is. Oh, okay, it's the blast off pad. Bit of a mini game that we have here, a classic. Oh no, I missed my first blast. Have to try again. Luckily, it sends me right to that exact spot, so that's good. <laughs> the gaps are big enough for Diddy to slip through. I guess that's fair. There we go. Oh, I missed the bananas, sad. Oh, I missed the barrel itself, too. This is harder than it looks. All right, take three. Well, I got the bananas, that's good. 
All right, take four, I guess. Ooh! Doing my best here, doing my best. Doing it this time, am I actually... There we go, there's some more bananas to get. Oh, I missed the bananas, I gotta do it again. I got the coin at least. Oh, and I missed the golden banana too. Dang it, all right, well, back in I go. We're doing it until we get it, I guess. Squawk, squawk. Well, I completely botched that one, try again. I am getting the timing down somewhat, yeah. It's not that hard to hit the barrels, but really gotta try for those collectibles, which is a little harder. There we go, got those. And then the golden banana. There we go. Seven bananas down. Well, seven golden bananas down, there's more. But we're done here. Whoa, I didn't mean to fall off, but I fell off. Okay, I know there's a red barrel, red red bunch of bananas over here for Diddy Kong. Other than that, I'm not sure what else we can get to. 55 bananas for now. More banana bunch there. How about over here? Uh, I guess swap there. Uh, was that, was that 100? I heard a, a chime that may have been all 100 bananas. We, we may be done collecting colored bananas for now. And as far as I can tell, we're done collecting everything. Yeah, I think we're done. I think it's time to head back to the level entrance and try and figure out where else we're going, because I don't think there's anything left for us to do in this particular level until we unlock more characters. Or maybe we go down this path as Diddy Kong. I have to take it back immediately because there's more stuff here. Oh, I gotta shoot this one too, do I? All right, very well. How many hours did I spend playing the original? The original Donkey Kong 64? I don't know, probably a day's worth. Probably no more than that. I do remember going to some kind of factory level though. I think that's what, the third or fourth level? I'm not sure. Come here, you little balloon. Where you go? Where you go? Stand still so I can shoot you. Nice. And we got a, a grapefruit launcher over there. And a feather over here. Yeah, someone's got to have a feather gun. But we're done for this area for now. Okay, we have gotten the 75 bananas. I guess every Kong has 75 bananas to collect in a level. And we've done it for Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. And I believe we've gotten... Basically all the bananas we can get as well. We got the blueprint and we got the bananas and four out of five golden bananas. Yeah, we're still missing a couple of golden bananas, but I'm not sure we'll be able to get them until we have the other Kongs. Still not bad. Go ahead and drop a save here. Okay. 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 And we're out of here. The feather can't come from the bear. Oh wait, wrong game. You think Funky Kong would be my character and Zack would be Diddy Kong? I don't know. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Knock it off, you. What's this one? What's this yellow? Who's this character? Oh, Dead Kong. Don't be afraid, young one. It's only me, Dead Kong. My body may have passed away since Donkey Kong Country 3, but I'm here in spirit to help you defeat those crocodiles. Use my supernatural powers. See me whenever you see my face. Well, I'm here. Where'd you? Where'd you go? Hello? Get DK's coconut shooter from Funky Store and use it to hit the coconut switches. Oh, so you're just here to give me tips, eh? That's all you do? Get, okay, yep. Same, same advice. Very good, very good. Okay, I don't know what this does. I don't know what that does. Oh, another one, okay. More advice, I guess? Shoot the switch over the giant mine cart to make the path complete in Diddy's mine area. Yeah, I didn't go into Diddy's mine area yet, did I? Oh, that's right! I unlocked the charge move as Diddy Kong. I probably gotta knock down that those bars or something to collect that last. Okay, okay. Well, when we when we go back to that level, if we get back to that level, that's what we'll do as Diddy Kong. But I'm sure there's other things we can do until we we, we gotta unlock a few more Kongs, you know? You joik. Knock it off. So where's the entrance to the second level? What does that look like? Gonna poke around until I can find it, I guess. Yeah, I don't think walking speed is faster as either of these guys. Nothing here in the waterfall? Uh, grenades. Grenades, okay, yeah, nothing really. There is a rock over here with a very low resolution texture. Ignoring that, I guess. A pineapple gun. Neither of us have a pineapple gun. I believe that might be chunky. 
There's an island over there and an island over there. May need to check those out. Well, Diddy Kong can jump a lot higher. Long Wolf, you say you'll be honest, you didn't even get past the first hour when you rented this from the video store. You got stuck and played versus. Ah, does this game have a versus mode? I don't remember. Well, there's a mound of dirt here. I don't know what to do with it. Can I see the island from here? There's a big X on it. A, a white X that marks the spot, but I don't know what that does. And some more vines to swing upon. Okay. I hear a B above me. Aha! This looks like some Egyptian pyramid aesthetic right here. Another level? Can I open? How do I? Hmm. I don't see this level's entrance, but that's very clearly how you get in there. I need to find a way to activate the door. Maybe I gotta give that key. I I know what I gotta do. I gotta give that key to the guy that's waiting for the key. That key must open the second level. That would make a lot of sense, actually. Um, I believe he's over here. I'm not sure if there's fall damage or not. I pretty I fell pretty far just now and I didn't take any damage. You say the the versus is like it's four player, but you don't know how it works on an emulator. Yeah. <laughs> Probably doesn't. Hello! I have a key for you! You're probably gonna be so happy that you start dancing. And that's gonna cause... something to rupture outside? I think I remember how this works. How does... He danced so hard that it made an entrance appear? I don't know how that works! I don't really know... I don't understand the physics of how that works. He shook the earth so hard that a door raised up. Like, if it fell down, that would make sense, but it, it didn't. It did the opposite of that. I can't get that banana until I have the grape shooter. Well, we know where the second level is. Let's go in there. We gotta get another Kong. Add to our repertoire. His dance moves made the door scream. Ah, too sexy. And he's, it sped up to try to get away. It fled upward. It recoiled. That crocodile's dance moves were so cringe that it recoiled in a horror. Who the heck is that? It's a Kremling, or one of those crocodile creatures, that the big baddie locked away for being too nice. So now we are trying to free him. All right, back to where we were. Second level is, I guess, Egypt-themed. Here we go, whatever level this is, we're here now. So, oh, we got a Diddy Kong gong here. I missed that. Hold on. That's one. What is... Oh, there's a second one over here. Hold on one second. We gotta actually aim at it. There we go. And that opens up... Uh... Oh, a golden... Do I gotta play a mini game to get that one? I don't see a banana. I just see a banana barrel. Where is that? Where'd you, where'd you hide that? Another guardian who wants five bananas, that's fine. Where's that? Oh, there are barrel barrels over here, but how do I get it? I'm not trying to get that. I'll try to shoot it down, but I don't think that's how you do that. Nah, that's not the case. Not sure how you get that. Okay. Have to come back for that later, I guess. Yeah, I've got eight bananas for you. Get out of my face. Goodbye. And the advice door, I think I saw. Ah, doesn't matter. Into the next level! Yeah! That meddlesome monkey should be burnt to a crisp by now. Where's that armadillo? Sniveling, tearful. I'm sorry, master, but he was too quick for me. Don't, don't worry, I'll get him next time, I promise, I swear. Imbecile, I don't like failure. Do you know what happens to failures? Gulp. That's right, he's the Darth Vader force choke on him. I've waited too long for this. I won't let these flea-bitten monkeys ruin my plans this time. Well, you're not doing a good job of preventing us from stopping you. New level, second level, Angry Aztec. Ooh. All right. Ooh, new music, too. This quicksand looks like it might be dangerous. Oh, it's like lava. Okay. That's, I was not expecting that. I was honestly not expecting that. Okay. Good to know. Pineapple switches. I believe Lanky is the one who has the grapefruit. And Chunky has the pineapple, which means... Oh, here's the coconut. 
Can I get the- there we go. Oh, hello! Jump scare, frickin' crocodile man, thank you. Well, I- oh wait, did I not- yeah, health. Well, I shot these two switches. Nope, only shot one. What's that do? Opens a door that allows me to collect some yellow coins over there, maybe? How do I get over there? Now, I must have to talk to Cranky, because I'm not allowed to use this yet. All right, I'll be back after I find Cranky, I guess. Yeah. And there's a camel. Hey, is that Gobi the camel? Listen to me, the key to my freedom lies in the clouds. That's probably more of a llama if this is an Aztec theme. It's not Egypt, it's Aztec, it's different. Ooh, hello. Well, I see Candy's house. What collectible does she want? Ow. Thought I could make that jump, but I couldn't. What's she want? Oh, the musical instrument, that's right. Hello, Candy. Well, hello there, my friend. Friendly maiden, how are you doing today? Hello. Let Candy tell you how she's gonna make you feel real good. Go on. Why, just for a few little old coins, you can have my musical instruments. And extra melons. Extra melons. Oh, I don't need more melons. Just the two. For just three coins. All right. For free? Oh man, you're a cheap date. Wow, you even have the bongos from DK's bongo game. Interesting. Stand a little closer, donkey. Oh. You're gonna show me how to use my instrument. Whoa. Well there. Yes, Z and then C up, of course. I, I read that in the Kama Sutra. The Kong Sutra, yes. <laughs> Uh, oh, it, it requires energy. Very well. I gotta go gather some energy. Oh man, that candy is real hot. Whoa, hot you say? I gotta go check this out. Hmm, for three coins, you can play this musical instrument. Here you go. Ooh, stand a little closer, Diddy, and I'll show you how to use your instrument. Ooh. It'll deafen in crumblings, but it'll use energy. There you go. Get out of here. I probably didn't have to use that there, but I wanted to use that there. Sounds like I killed somebody somewhere on this map. <laughs> so what's this all about? Boss battle? I don't have any bananas for this, actually. I, uh, I can't feed you anything, so I can't participate. I'll have to come back in a bit later. Bit of a waste of time. I'll be back later. Another mound of dirt. Here's some bananas and here's some coins for me. Thank you, thank you. Very nice. Getting a resupply back here. Okay, what is this? Angry face. What if I played the angry face on musical instrument, eh? Will that make it go away? No, didn't care. Wait, maybe? It sounded like I did something somewhere. Let me shoot this balloon quickly. Dang it. Curses. There we go. So, not, 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 it's not how I do that. All right. I don't know what these crystals are and I don't have to open that apparently. Oh, hello. A thing I can shoot. That'll probably open the door. Indeed it did. Is there another one? There's a, pi there's a pineapple one. Is there one for Donkey Kong maybe? Where are Jojo and Petey? The cats are asleep. They're asleep on the chair. Yeah, I don't see an area for Donkey Kong to use his gun. Whoopsie. But, oh, it's timed. Boo. Lame. All right, let's go inside now. You're digging the new animations? Happy you enjoy them, Cat. Hey, there's Tiny Kong. I want to rescue her. Sorry, guys. I'm afraid they got me too. Don't worry, we'll release. You You can probably squeeze through the bars. Sup, buddy? All right, where are you anyway? There's your barrel. Ow. Ooh. I forgot, once you kill, <laughs> once you kill the crocodile, it turns into a pair of jaws? That's odd. There's some ice here. All right, can't do anything with that at the moment. You say they should have just used Dixie. They were they were talking about that. I, I don't remember what the exact reasoning was for why they didn't ultimately use Dixie, but yeah, they were going to and then they didn't. Okay, you seem to be invincible for whatever reason. 
What if I, okay, what if I played him as, what if I did this and killed you both? There we go. Um, and this requires a symbol. Oh no, it's a triangle. I believe that's Chunky's weapon. Or Chun Chunky's instrument. I shouldn't need that instrument. Ah, here we go. Here we go. This is how we're gonna free Tiny. Or you can, you can just call her Dixie because it's, it's not like there's much of a difference between those two characters. And you never see him in the same room at the same time. So basically Tiny and Dixie are basically the same character. I hope this isn't timed. Kind of a dick move to make this a timed thing and then not, you know, have a timer countdown or anything. But this game is kind of a dick, so I wouldn't be surprised if it did that. Hey, there we go. Now we open the pathway. Uh, can I get the camera to face it proper? Can I? All right. I don't want to fall off. Gonna go very slowly and meticulously. Then there we go. Oh, you know what? We'll just do this. Oh, oh no! Whoa! Oh no! Son of a fuck! Ah! Ah, bummer. And these guys respond. That sucks. Did I enjoy Funky's Jam from Donkey Kong Country? Honestly, I didn't play a lot of Donkey Kong Country. Oh, fuck! Yeah, I didn't play a lot of the Super Nintendo Donkey Kong Country games. I didn't even grow up with the Super Nintendo, honestly. I only played a lot of Super Nintendo games after the fact. See, for the longest time, I wanted a Nintendo Entertainment System because I saw my cousins had an NES. I was like, give me an NES, get me an NES. And then eventually my dad came up with a Nintendo 64 and I went, this isn't an NES, what the hell is this? Did you get some kind of knockoff garbage? This isn't an NES at all. And then later I found out that it was an upgraded version of a Nintendo console. And then later I found out that there was a Super Nintendo. Oh, fuck, come on, come on, this is bullshit. Yeah, I didn't find out about the Super Nintendo's existence until much later, but I have heard I have heard a lot of the music from the Donkey Kong Country games And I've never heard a bad one if The camera would actually cooperate with me. I could all right fine. I Guess we're gonna ride this back and hope for the best God come on God fuck. this is so infuriating Okay, try again so I I, I feel like I'm supposed to run across, but because the camera refuses to get directly behind me, it's impossible. There we go, we got it, there we go. And that opens up the ceiling to warm the ice, which melts into water, and I'll be able to swim through it. And I'll go wherever I'm allowed to go in there. Still don't know what this film is supposed to be here for, but very well. All right, down we go. We're gonna go collect some bananas while we're down here too. Do I have infinite air? It wouldn't make a whole lot of sense, but I would not be complaining if I had infinite air. Oh boy. Yeah, if I have infinite, I guess I just have infinite air. Again, not gonna complain. Water levels are pretty awful in general, so if I have infinite air, again, not a complaint. So you have to hit Z to dive down, but then you have to let go of Z and press the other buttons to, to uh, make progress. I see. <laughs> It's strange that these enemies here don't actually make a sound before they start charging at you. There's no audio cue, which makes things a little difficult. I don't hate it, but it's odd because it's it's, a, it's an intentional design choice. Oh, I guess I gotta charge this one. And I'm guessing I gotta shoot these letters, shoot the letters before they... No? What am I doing? What kind of... Fuck you. What kind of game are we playing here? Do I gotta shoot these? I can charge into him. There goes K. Fuck off! God damn. Okay, you're pissing me off something fierce now. Get out of here. There's the N. But where is the G? Fuck you! You son of a bitch, get back here. And there's the G, okay. Boink. And now Tiny should be free. There you go, Dixie. Nice work, Diddy. I'll grab all the purple bananas I see. All right, good stuff. Let me get some health back from this guy. Okay, so Tiny is free and this pathway is now open. Is it a pathway or is it just a golden banana? I don't know. It looks like it's just an alcove. You can't go in here, it's not a tunnel or anything. 
but it's so hard to see. You'd be forgiven for being confused. Oh, wait, I think I see something for Tiny. Maybe, or is that for Chunky? It's blue or purple? Hey, it's purple. Tiny Kong, oh, but she don't have a gun yet. I gotta come back once I got a gun. And I can't get a gun until I have some coins, too. I guess we're gonna, hey, there's some coins. Marvelous. Now I gotta find a place to spend them. Ah, this is for Lanky Kong, is it? Ain't no Lanky in my party yet. Nope, can't be here just yet. Long Wolf, you say you never beat the second Donkey Kong Country. I believe a lot of people haven't. Totally fine. I'm being chased by an angry starfish right now. Is there anywhere else I can go? Anything else that I can unlock? <clears throat> Maybe not inside this the pyramid area. So there's a barrel over here for Tiny. But I can't use it. Yeah, I gotta go talk to Cranky, I believe, before I can use that one. Alright, yeah, I believe we're done here. Um, yeah, can't go that way. That requires something else. Alright, we're done here. Gotta come back later once we've got more instruments, more Kongs, more weapons. You say that you think the only one you played and beat was Donkey Kong 3. Fair enough. No, oh, can I, uh, this, I require a use of a jetpack, but I have to go and see... Gotta, see, gotta go see Cranky, I believe. And there's the llama. Hey, llama. Stop messing about. All the sand is beginning to itch in here. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Ah, That's why I get on top of you. You can't... All right. I'm not sure how I get over there. Oh, here you go, Tiny. Coins! Yay! Being able to swap on the fly is so nice. Hey, bananas I can't grab. Let's grab them. Ah, so that's how we do it. Ah, but I gotta be Diddy. I came all the way as Donkey here, but I need to be Diddy. I'm now Diddy. And that releases the gate over there. But it doesn't free this guy? It <laughs> doesn't free that guy. That's unfortunate for him. Very well, very well. Well, while we're here and while... Ouch. Yeah, while we're here, why don't we get uh, Dixie here, Tiny here. We will get her her weapon. Ooh, I've never had a female customer before. For three coins, you can play this flute. It's a saxophone. She is Lisa Simpson of the Kong family. I did not realize Donkey Kong Country 3 had an overworld you could drive around in. Ouch, damn. But I guess I haven't played that one. I saw the crying obnoxious Kong and it reminded me too much. I got to PTSD from uh, that Yoshi game where you had to play as Yoshi gathering the Mario baby. Yoshi Island. Super Mario World 2? Yeah, not a fan of that baby. Ooh, creepy. Hey, who do we got here? Is it Dixie's... Is it Dixie's blueprint? It is, and now we've collected it as Dixie. And more things that we need Dixie for. This game feels like if you don't have the quick swap, it, it's unplayable. I don't know how people played this legitimately back in the day. It seems so awful. You swap, you have to go back to the swap barrel every five minutes. And there's a banana barrel in there. How do I get that? Can I break this? If I can't, I don't know how. I'll have to come back for this later, I feel. And a warp pad. New area. A few more warp pads. More bananas for Diddy. And I still need to find Cranky's hut. So I can use those barrels. Donkey Kong. Oh, can apparently blast right here. All right. Doing another one of these mini games, are we? Very well. I've gotten better at them, I th I'd like to think. Whoa! Well, try again. Oh, not again. My spine is so shattered. All this barrel blasting has ruptured two of my vertebra. Oh, overshot it. You gotta be a little slower. I gotta be a little calmer and try to be methodical about it. You gotta be very careful. It's a timing minigame. I, I should be good at those, right? Oh, what? That didn't count? Boo. Lame. And over and over and over again. Aw, oh, overshadowed again? Really? Ah, bummer. I was right there, too, right on the cusp of victory. There we go. And what does that do? Is it, oh, is it free the llama? The llama's free! Oh, thank you. All I've got is this old banana. Take it. I'm off to go... I don't know. <laughs> Classic cartoon sound effect. Thank you, Geo. Thank you. Patience and persistence pay off. Ooh, a headphones. 
back there, eh? So this is locked by the grapefruit. Again, lankies. Oh, hello. Come here. I'm hungry for bananas. Nailed it. What's this do? Ah, it refills my music. Got it. Well, I guess I'm done for here for now. Do I gotta shoot? Oh. Oh, that requires a jetpack. Again, I gotta find Cranky Kong. Or I can find Gun Kong. Yes, hello, Gun Kong. Don't mind me, just going to get some guns for Tiny Girl. Quick swap made you think of The Simpsons and the Quickie Mart. Ah, <laughs> I see. I got enough coins for Feather Bow. Oh. Looking good, Tiny. Yep. And there's a mode, you got it. So how about now, can we do the boss battle now? I believe, well first things first, I gotta swap over to somebody who's actually got some bananas. I'm guessing this is a Diddy Kong battle. How many, you need 120 bananas, eh? That's a lot actually. It's gonna be difficult, gonna have to swap to Tonky Kong and throw a few more bananas in there. Oh, come on, jump! You can get it, Porky. I don't think I have enough bananas just yet. I'll have to come back later, because I've only got ten more as tiny, so... Yep, I'll be back later. I'll be back once I got more bananas. Woo! Here's a few more bananas for tiny. Good, good. Again, that requires Donkey Kong. Hey, what do we got over here? A Donkey Kong gong! Oh, and there's a thing for tiny there as well. All right, we'll charge the gongs. Not quite sure what knocking all these gongs over is doing, but that's the fourth one, and it's raising a pyramid up. All right. And is there gonna be a timer? No timer, it seems like, good. But I imagine I need to be Tiny Kong to get into that small gap. But I can't be Tiny to get in that gap until I find Cranky. <laughs> My life, right? I gotta find a Cranky so I can learn that new technique. All right, Snide, oh. Hello, Snide, guess what I got for ya? It's a blueprint. What are you gonna teach me? What are you gonna give me? What's up, what's up? Oh, you're just gonna give me a golden banana, aren't you? Maybe? Yeah. Blueprints get you a banana, I see. Yeah. I've got a few more blueprints, actually. Oh, okay, never mind. Do I, do I have to come back with all the Kongs? Now that I've got a blueprint for each of them? Maybe. Hello, banana. And now, tiny. Banana. All right, I'll be back once I've got more blueprints. I do not have any more blueprints. By the way, can you tell me where Cranky is on this level? Because I cannot seem to find him, god dang it. Well, I guess we're gonna go fight this boss battle now, because I'm not sure where Cranky is on this map. How many bananas short am I? I'm five bananas short. <laughs> Just stand on your tiptoes. It's fine. In retrospect, it's honestly kind of surprising that this game ever released without the ability to swap between Kongs on a whim, considering how much better it is with that available. All right, Diddy Kong boss battle time. What am I fighting now? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> This little bug creature. Aw, oh, it's dead. Well, it's probably best that way. It was kind of annoying. <laughs> and now we're doing a fight, eh? Yeah, it's uh, an unhappy parent, understandably so. And that's one hit with the barrel, down you go. And back you are. The, the lava and flame resistant beast monster, yes. All right, and two, oh I missed. No, I got it. Kind of forgiving. It's a little forgiving, which works for me. Two, unhappy, yes. Just gotta keep dodging. And now you're trying to lecture me. Third hit. Is that the rule of threes? That's the rule of threes kicking in right there. Diddy. It's Diddy Kong. Sorry, choir. Diddy, Diddy, Diddy Kong. Get it right, it's Diddy Kong. All right, good stuff. Still need to figure out where Cranky is. 
very important that we find this person so we can learn some new moves and get on with the level. Well, there's the llama door, but I don't know where the llama is. Might as well use the feather gun now. That opens the llama door, good. What's in the llama pyramid? Oh! I didn't realize Lanky Kong was in this level as well. Who's there? Can you come in here and give me a hand? He sounds like Mickey Mouse, apparently. Hey, Rare didn't give my voice, so I guess I'll have to do that. Got some lava here. Kind of a problem. You didn't even know the N64 existed until your cousin got the special translucent green N64 bottled with the game. Huh. I wasn't aware that one existed. Oh, there's the, there's the llama. Okay. There's another fairy, eh? Oh, is it, do I need the blue character? Get the fairy with the blue dust? That would make sense. Yeah, that would make sense, actually. Hello, sleepy llama, how are you? Do I ride you? Do I punch you? Do I ground pound you? Apparently not. I don't know how to, oh, you know what? I probably gotta play an instrument to wake you up. How's that? No, wow. Sound sleeper, huh? Okay. Gun? Not even gun. Wow. All right. All right, grenade time. <laughs> Overshot the grenade. This sucks. Die, you little creature. Oh, you've actually got invincibility? That's bullshit. Does that lower the lava or something? Yeah, it raises that door outside. Which would be great if I could actually go that way, but I can't because of the, the fire lava sand. Well, who, how do I wake this guy up? He won't stop snoring at me. Bongo time. And now he'll wake up. Are you gonna spit? Are you gonna spit? He's gonna spit. <laughs> and now that lava, wow, that counteracted a lot of lava. And it opened up that passage down there. Interesting. You see the first N64 there that, that you see is uh, listed for $400. Wow. Yeah, N64 stuff is very, very pricey. There's a used game store near my place, and I, I do go check it out from time to time. But it's, uh, it's usually kind of ridiculous how expensive all the N64 stuff is. I would never try to get into N64 game collecting because it's, it's kind of ridiculous. Just how much they're asking for those old cartridges. Oh, that's nice. Come on, I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay, there we go. I knew I got it eventually. Um, so this is the area we can go dive down now. There's the tunnel. Hey, hey! It's Lanky! Cool move, DK! I gotta get some fresh air! I'll help by collecting blue bananas! Blue bananas! Alright, thank you. I'll take that. Yeah, we had a regular cobalt gray in 64 growing up. Ooh, hello. Hey, we can we can play as Lanky, but unfortunately we do not have his gun yet. So, gotta come back later, again. You say Lanky has the worst song. I can't remember. I'll have to be the judge of that by actually hearing what he's got to play. I guess we might be done in here for now then, huh? <coughs> Oh man, you're such an obnoxious enemy. Why are you invincible? It's ridiculous. Yeah. Where's this passageway go? Guess we'll find out. Oh, you meant he has the worst part of the song from the DK rap. Yeah, I saw that skit. I saw that skit. It was a fun skit. Hey, where do I get... Where is... Where is... The person who teaches you how to use the moves in this level? Cause I can't find him and it's starting to drive me nutty. Ah, it's this way. Right. But it's gonna get you killed cause you, you can't go that way. Cause of all the hot sand. So how do you do that? Squawk, hello. Uh, you said something but I skipped past it too fast, I guess. And now I'm back out in the hub world, but I didn't want to be back out in the hub world, so back in we go. You say the most expensive one you own is the special edition Majora's or Pokemon Stadium 2. The, the, the more popular a Nintendo 64 game, the more expensive its cartridge is going to be. Oh, son of a gun. Okay, back out here in the main hub world. Going to go talk to Candy. 
Uh, I don't know how I keep on missing those, but let's get the new instrument for Lanky. I forget what he's got. Oh, it's too bad, Lanky. You don't have enough coins. <laughs> I still gotta find some blue coins. Never mind. I'll be back once I got some coins. Am I going for 100%? Uh, depends on if that's easy to get or not. I imagine there's gonna be some nonsense that's gonna make me not want to do that. But I'll try and get close for a bit. Try and collect what I can. The trombone. Ah, that's right. I believe he's got the trombone. And there's Chunky's barrel. Some more blue bananas for Lanky. There we go. Took us some time to, ouch, find it, but here it is. All right, Cranky. Teach me some new moves. Another potion? Let's drink it. <laughs> the, ah, there we go. The Orang Stand, also known as the Talon Trot in Banjo-Kazooie. Z and B, eh? All right. Yeah, there you go. All right. What do you got for Diddy Kong? Anything? Another potion? All right, it's probably the jetpack. Was that my phone vibrating? Yeah, my phone vibrated. Did it vibrate? My phone vibrated a little bit ago. You may have heard that, yeah. I don't know why. I usually keep it on completely silent, but I guess it got swapped back on. There we go. Sorry about that. Sorry to bother you with that. Let me just keep that off. Won't be a problem. Okay, so what I unlocked? Jetpack, I believe. I believe on the jetpack spot. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. So, uh, Lanky got your thing. Tiny Kong. Another perfected potion for three coins. What do we get? The ability to become tiny. Mini Monkey. That's it, all right. You can now use my special barrel with your face on it. Yes. Didn't mean to cause you to start panicking for your phone, Brickhead. It's all good. Apologies. I do try to keep it on silent, completely silent, not even vibrate, because honestly, it's it's very rare for anybody to need to get a hold of me. I check my phone on the regular anyway. Another potion for Donkey Kong. Yep. I'm, I'm guessing this will allow me to walk on fiery sands? Strong Kong, maybe? Does it make me invincible temporarily? With your furry face and become temporarily invincible. Yep, there we go. That makes sense. That should open up a lot more opportunities on this level. Yeah. Stand still, banana. I mean, banana balloon. Knock it off. There we go. Okay. I keep trying to double jump as Donkey Kong, but you can't. I guess you can't double jump as anyone. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, and uh, we can collect these crystals now. I guess that house, yeah, I need crystals for tiny time, I guess. I'm guessing I might need, since there's coconut crystals here, I must need to be able to use my tiny form to get in here somehow. Not sure how, but it seems like this is where I would be for it. Gonna have to come back later once we figure that out. All right, jetpack time. Okay, do I fly to the top of this over here? Great music, by the way. And it's over. And there's a tiny hole here that I think I have to be tiny to get into? The saxophone, yeah, so kind of, yeah. All right, let's try that then. Yeah, no fall damage, I guess. And that summons a parrot. What do you think I am, an eagle? You're far too heavy for me, tiny? Oh, I gotta come back once I'm tiny for him, tiny, do I? All right. And that's how you get up there. It'd be funny if the saxophone noises were tiny. And now we ride to the top. Hold on tight. Hey, hurry up, parrot. I've got a limited time to be in this form. It's about to get very uncomfortable for you. Hey, in we go. Oh, we're racing. There's a mini game for racing here, huh? It's only you, Tiny. Maybe you can beat me to the bottom of my slide and collect 50 coins. I suppose you can have my golden banana if you do that. All right. So I got to beat him and get 50 coins? All right, all right. Mini game time. I'll do my best. Oh, you got to watch out because there ain't no barriers there. 
getting as many coins as I can first is important, and then I'll try to beat you. Oh boy. This is... This is kind of chaotic, I don't know... Oh boy. Uh, yeah, so this seems impossible. This seems pretty awful. Okay, so I gotta try really, really hard to stay on the course. So I have three objectives. Collect 50 coins, come in first place, and also not die. Oh, and I lose coins if I make contact with him. This whole thing seems awful. Oh my God, this is, this feels terrible. I hate this so much. Oh God, this is just, I've got so little control. I've got so little control. It's like a wet seal sliding down a water slide. This, okay, so absolutely not going for 100% because uh, this game seems like bullshit. I'll try this race once more, but Jesus Christ, coins. Shit. Okay, so I'm gonna stay behind this guy and just collect coins, and then I'll try to speed past him once I've got 50. I'm sure there's some rubber banded AI anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm certainly doing better this time around. Not sure how much race is left though. 37 coins. Don't you dare. After you, I insist, Mr. Snail Thing. Oh wait, ugh. Apparently that was the finish line. Okay. This is where you stop playing the game. Can't fault you. <laughs> this race does suck. I actually got pretty close this time trying to be uh, methodical about it, so. One more time, but yeah, this race does suck. Oh, you can attack it at the very end, eh? All right. Stunlock him with attacks. All right, good to know you can do that. Yeah, this guy's definitely got some stupid rubber banded AI. Oh, oh, okay, we're done. We're done with this dumb race. It sucks. I can even attack it right at the start if I'm fast enough. Yeah, no, fuck this. This is awful. All right. So yeah, I have now spontaneously decided we are not going to 100% this game. My time is too valuable for that nonsense. Where's a DK barrel? I need to get some invincibility. There we go. Oh yeah, you're invincible now. It uses coconuts. And of course this is locked again now. Of course it is, of fucking course it is. All right, let's get a weapon for Lanky here. What do we got? Grape gun? Yeah, the grape shooter. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of how I felt during that race. Kind of maddening. But at least I've gotten to the point in my life where I can recognize when something is so maddening that I need to stop playing it. I think I might need to go back, yeah, go back to where Diddy Kong's spot was and do some more jetpacking. Can also probably get back in here. Yeah, there we go. And get back into that area if we wanted to. Could be a good use of my time. All right, now that we've got Lankin, can go up steep slopes. That'll probably open a few more opportunities up. Can't catch me, can't catch me. Ah, you caught me. It's bullshit, you need to be dead. You're obnoxious animal. What am I using to play the game with? A regular controller. Oh, I was not on the platform, hold on. Does that open that door outside? It does nothing. Its use has already been fulfilled. Ah, here's a Donkey Kong switch. That must open the thing outside, I'm guessing. Yep, there it is. Let's try not to die before we can use it this time, though. Baloney! Don't fade in on top of that, that's nonsense. I left with my dignity intact. I don't know if I'd say that, but my sanity intact, certainly. What does this door open into? A little mini game, it looks like. All right. Oh, I saw you murder that guy. How about me too? God, I love death, thank you. Oh, that opened up something. Oh, it lowered that down so I can do some swinging for some stuff, eh? All right. Not a great idea to jump into lava. Try not to do that again. 
And there's two. All right, now the mini game. Golden banana. All I gotta do is shoot these things, I guess. Let's see, which ones do I gotta shoot? Do I gotta let, I gotta get them all spinning at the same time, eh? Oh, it's a matching minigame, isn't it? Quack. Toot. Duck. I guess maybe the colors are similar too? What game is this? It's Donkey Kong 64, of course. Of course, I said as, as if this makes any sense in any context. Oh, banana. All right, we're done with that silly mini game. What else can we do? Is there anything else worth my time in here? Hello! Okay, so this is the one with the blue sparks. Can I shoot this one? Or do I gotta collect it or something? I don't, I don't even know. God, this was fast, this was darty. Oh wait, I bet you gotta do something with Tiny over here. I'm not sure if it's related to that fairy or not. We can go in here though. Bananas! Oh, am I in a new area? This is, uh... Hey, there's a warp pad over there! Oh god! This is problematic. Eh, hey, don't hurt me, don't kill me! Ow! He's doing it, he's killing me! I can probably stop being tidy for now. Piss off! Go away! Go ahead and die! No one loves you! Go away, die! Blue! Yeah! And now there's a warp pad, nice. I don't want to die, I unlocked that passageway for Donkey Kong. Another series of precarious platforms. Ow, I can't see! Camera! You betrayed me, camera! I'm gonna die because of the camera, aren't I? And also the bad frame rate! <laughs> Fuck you, Nintendo 64 awful frame rate. You suck. All right, back here. Try again. Uh, this one is for Donkey Kong. We can actually get it now. Invincibility mode, go! Out of the way, nerd, I'm invincible. And by out of my way, I mean I'm gonna jump off, apparently. Man, this camera sucks! I know I'm stating the obvious because it's the Nintendo 64 camera, but oh my goodness. Well, we got the thing. That's all that matters. Okay. Done with that now. We're done with that nonsense. Okay. Candy's over there. We've already got the instrument. To have it. Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't think we have. Because we were out of... Yeah, we didn't have any coins last time. That's right. We got coins now, though. Which Kong is my favorite? Oh, it's hard not to like Diddy Kong, but Lanky's got some charm as well. Then again, candy over here is not bad either. Imagine that you found out about this game and, and the N64 in 2000, then a year later playing Halo on the Xbox with two thumbsticks. Mine was blown. <laughs> yeah, that Nintendo 64 controller is archaic and not good. But there were some banger games for the N64, so you put up with it. This time I might just immediately go in there, activate the door, and bail as Donkey Kong so I can actually get to that thing that I've activated twice already. Oh, is it not actually in this place? I might be mistaking it for a different place. No, it's the right place. Yeah, that's a chunky area. I can't do anything with that just yet. What is this tiny thing here for? What tiny area can I get to as tiny here? Certainly I'm not supposed to do some tiny swimming. Okay, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here as tiny. Is there like a small hole or something I need to get into? I don't, I don't know. Maybe a, maybe a small hole down here? Oh, there is a tiny hole down there for tiny. I see, I see. You said the controller was never designed to use all buttons at once. Yeah. I'm not saying it's the worst design, but yeah, that, that third prong was very useless. Almost every game worth its salt was <laughs> you played it using the control stick, so no one used the A-type configuration, or whatever configuration type that was marked as. 
and no game used the C-type configuration. A lot of, uh... Trying to, trying to get these bananas here, it's a little difficult. Yes, fight me, camera, fight me! There we go. Apparently got all the bananas is tiny now, good. Holster your tininess, come on, holster it. Why? I'm not sure how to stop it. Maybe I can stop it while I'm here. I guess I just had to engage in tiny combat, very well. Yeah, my favorite game for the Nintendo 64 is a hard to pick because there are a couple of really good ones. Mario 64, Star Fox 64, Banjo-Kazooie. Those are the ones that come to my mind immediately. Uh, I think I'm done in here then, yeah. Nothing else for me? Nothing else for me. Okay. What if my crystal powers wore out while I was in there and I just lost my- I was just trapped in there forever. I was entombed. Well, that is now taken care of. That's good. Is there anything else that I need to spend time on? Maybe down here, actually. Clearly it's Super Mario 64. I fondly remember it. And by fondly, I'm... I don't mean fondly. I'm lying out my teeth. Oh, here we go. Blue bananas. Yeah, those are mine. You having trouble there, Lanky? Having some issues? There you go. You figured it out. You know absolutely zero Donkey Kong lore, so you're experiencing this like a fever dream. I mean, it kind of is. You don't have to know any of the lore to, to know what's going on. It basically is just a fever dream. Have I watched the Donkey Kong cartoon? I've seen it. I didn't grow up watching it or anything, but I was aware of its existence. All right, what am I shooting at now? Heads? I hear flapping noises. You! Get in my line of sight so I can shoot you. There you go. I'll get you. I'll get you. You're kind of... It's difficult. I can't look up any higher. You're directly above me. There we... How did, how did that not hit you? I apparently cannot look directly up, which is a little frustrating. How many times do I need to hit this guy? Because apparently it's more than three. Four? He's getting smaller with every successive hit, though, so... There we go. Banana. Get, you grab it. You... There's the dead vulture. <laughs> Grab the freaking banana, you dumb orangutan. There you go. You say Mario Kart 64 is where it's at? You play with your mom when you were a kid, the only game she would ever play. It's a fun one, absolutely. Boss battle time, yeah. Mario Kart 64, I played a lot of that back in the day too. A solid entry. I guess I'm fighting these guys then? I actually have the uh, ranged attack, so it's gonna be easier for me. Cause I can just do this attack. Well, I'd say it's gonna be easier, but I can keep it at arm's length. I can keep the enemies at arm's length, so it's fine. Apparently that counted, yeah! Remember how Nintendo put out Superman 64 again on GameCube as an Aquaman game and thought no one would notice? I, I wasn't aware of that, no. <laughs> it's ridiculous. One of the most critically panned games for the N64, eh? It's back again, performing for you at a barely functional kind of style of game. Okay, we've already been through here. Oh wait, there's some purple balloons now. Oh, I'm out of ammo now, boo. So yeah, I was using this jetpack earlier. There we go. We're gonna fly through this, I think I might. Oh God, this seems a little unwieldy. There we go, I flew through it, but it didn't seem to do anything. I did it to, to what effect, I'm not sure. Uh, that may have been everything that I needed to do with the jetpack. Have I eaten yet? Oh yeah, I've had food today, absolutely. I mean, it's pretty late in the day, so I would hope I had something today, otherwise I'd be starving myself. Okay, so I need to go, is it in there? Maybe. Is it the llama? I think you need to go into that llama area. Yeah. I gotta go in here and activate the uh, Donkey Kong. Or is it, is it open? I guess it's already open, works for me. No, that's where I came from, that's not right. The Donkey Kong door is over here and it's currently locked again, that's right. Define food? I had some food. I mean, you want specifics from me? You want to have, you want to know my entire dietary consumption? I mean, what's with the third degree? What? Can a man eat nothing but cookies and pizza all day without being harangued for it? Nah, I'm just kidding. I didn't have pizza today. I did have some french fries, though. Alright, it's flying time. 
<laughs> oh, did, I didn't need you to for properly define food for me, Aaron, Aaron, but thank you. If I ever didn't know what food was, now I do. There's that. That's not what I need. No, I didn't mean to land, boo. Y'all can't photosynthesize. I mean, I eat light, why not? Just stare at the sun for a bit. It enters your eyes and everything is great. So was I supposed to like shoot that thing? I feel like that thing is supposed to come awake at one point or another. Jetpack time. Yeah, this guy seems like he would be looking at me for whatever reason. I thought I had to fly through this. Oh wait, I heard a sound effect. Maybe. Little unwieldy. Aha! Oh no. Don't tell me I got a Superman 64 around here. Is it a flight competition? Clear for, clear for takeoff. Yep. And away he goes. Ah, freedom. Thanks, Diddy. If you fancy a test of your flying skills, come see me at the jet barrel. Fun. Okay, where'd you come out of anyway? Hey, I can't fly any slower and you still can't keep... Oh, were, were we racing? Okay, apparently we were racing. I didn't realize. I thought you got lost. Follow me. I guess I'm doing this now. There we go. All right, where are you? Yep, we're doing a Superman 64 right now. God, this sucks. It's it's really not fun to control the jetpack. I don't know how you made a jetpack feel awful and not fun, but congratulations, you did. There's, you have to hold it for about three seconds straight before you get any lift on it. And A. A, there you go. Oh, I missed it, hold on, I gotta go back apparently. Next. This is awful. Holy shit, you have no idea. This is dog shit. No, I'm done. This sucks. That is absolutely awful. Wow. I'm actually surprised at how bad that was. This is the worst jetpack I've used in any video game. Excuse me, I just want to come over here and get some blue bananas. I'm not trying to rage, but it's just a fact. It's just a straight up fact. That is not fun. I'm gonna stop now before I start tearing my hair out because as I have stated, I don't want to be, I don't want to be angry gamer. I don't want to rage. I don't want to play a game until my hair falls out as I scream and rage. I don't want to do that. I want to have fun. So I'm not gonna do that stupid racing game for Tiny. And I'm not going to do that jet passing re jet pack racing game for Diddy. And honestly, I heard the end of this game was difficult as well, so maybe I just won't finish this game. But you know, it's fun to come back and see what could have been. This is definitely a much better version of the game than the one that was at retail. You can feel the rage. I'm not raging. I don't know where you're getting this rage sensation, but I don't I'm not raging. Oh, yeah, I still got to get that banana, don't I? If I don't die. The instant, the instant satisfaction of completing a task and getting rewarded is not here with this game. These levels aren't as bad, of course, as some of the uh, Banjo-Tooie levels. But maybe we just haven't gotten to that point yet. Maybe they are just as bad and we're only on the second level so it gets a lot worse. Ow. Hey, fuck you! These enemies are pretty bad too. But big guys, the lack of audible cues for when they start attacking you really does mean you get blindsided by enemy quite frequently. You say there's a lot of problems later on as well from an emulator? Possibly, yeah. That's, that's always that's always an unfortunate possibility. I mean, emulators do get better over time. People are still working on it and everything. So maybe the problems you're remembering wouldn't appear for me. There's no guarantee they won't, either. Where is that door that opened? It was over here, that's right. And of course it's locked again. Of course. Of course it is. Of course it is. Because this game hates you. This game just straight up hates you. Okay, so the more I'm playing this game, the less highly I'm thinking of it. In my novel, in my novice thinking, I had thought, in my naivete, I had thought, 
Yeah, when I originally played this game on my N64, I didn't think it was very good, but it was probably just because of all the backtracking. If I go back in, once I have the quick swap mod on, it'll probably be a lot more fun to play, and I love 3D platformers, so I would definitely want to go back and play it. But now that I'm here playing it, it's, it's not as fun as I was hoping it was going to be. I honestly hoped I could come back and have a lot of fun with this game, but it's it's kind of frustrating and maddening. Not just those racing games, although yes, that's awful, but... The way that if you die, all of, like, half your progress gets erased, if you're halfway to get a banana, like, that door keeps on closing on me, and now that door closed on me. And yeah, if I didn't have the quick swap mechanic, it would be awful. But even erasing that part of it doesn't alleviate all of the other problems here. The instant, the instant satisfaction that, that I was hoping for isn't uh, present, unfortunately. The controls aren't awful when you're on the ground. That jetpack control was absolute dog... dog shit. It's hot garbage dog shit. It just throws harder and harder stuff at you and is never satisfied. Yeah, I remember the, uh, the factory level being brutal. I don't remember this level being difficult. And if I'm struggling already with this level, I can only imagine how much harder it's gonna get. Yeah, I think I'm done playing this game. Again, I, I wanted to beat Nintendo 64. I, I wanted to beat Donkey Kong 64 because it felt like one of those games that I missed out on. But playing it, again, I, I feel like there's not enough for me to be, to be gained here. You say the way that you deal with the jetpack is to tap it a lot. Maybe that control would be better. I don't know. This game would cause you to rage for sure. Yeah, yeah, there are better. There are other better games out there. Um, what if we left this area, and by left, I'll just straight up die a couple times, because it's easier than just... It's probably just easier if I just die and go back to the entrance. I want to go and see what the third level is, because I think... I haven't... Have I found the key? I have found the key, so I can go to the third level now. Is that the factory level, I believe? Yeah, this game isn't awful, but it's got problems, all right. It could have used a bit more time in the oven. And it's not like a lot of its problems are huge, major problems, either. A lot of these problems can be tweaked. You know, make the, uh, you know, a couple of changes to that, those races would be fine. Improve the jetpack controls, allow the tag anywhere. Make that an official feature. A lot of these problems are minute. Oh wait, am I back? I thought I was, oh. Dang it. I didn't want to go further into the level. I'm having trouble with some of these jumps too. It's very strange, probably because it's a little hard to gauge the distance. Yeah, these things don't cast shadows. That's that's a big thing right there, is that those uh, those vines don't cast shadows. It's hard for me to judge where they are. You get the factory and the cove, which you forget the name of. Well, I'm guessing there are six levels since there are six keys to find. I don't remember which they all are. Probably because I haven't played all of them. You've heard it's not a good game for many reasons. Yes, uh, I was hoping that I'd be able to remedy the worst offender and have some fun with it, but I feel like I have exhausted the fun and now there's only frustration left before me. Slide! No fall damage though, that's nice. It could have been a real dick and added some fall damage. <laughs> Kiwi time? Maybe later, I think I might be done for now. Well, after I check out the third level for a little bit. Not even the DK rap can save this game. No, the DK... <laughs> the best way to play Donkey Kong 64 is to boot it up, listen to the DK rap, and then walk away. Where is this level? Oh, it's... Right there, apparently. Brickhead, you say you're you're loving watching me play these old Nintendo 64 games, even if they can be a bit jank at times. I'm glad you are, but there are better Nintendo 64 games to be playing than Donkey Kong 64. You gotta play me some Star Fox 64. What games do I like on the Nintendo 64? Super Mario 64, of course, did an entire video on that. Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo-Tooie to an extent, but it has a lot of the same problems as this one. And I gotta finish doing that Mario 64, the uh, uh, Paper Mario. Paper Mario 64, I remember having a lot of fun with, but I only beaten it once or twice. So I wouldn't mind going back and playing it again. I had a lot of fun with that. And of course, there's always like, Super Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, Diddy Kong Racing, names that are okay for a bit, but they kind of wear out their welcome. A little bit. Where's the entrance around here? Maybe that's why Paper Mario is such a good game, because in these old school platformers, the camera is always fighting you. And you don't have to worry about the camera so much in that game. Maybe that's why that game holds up so well. 
Man, this rain is tanking my frame rate. Already wasn't a pretty good, it already was a suffering frame rate because it's a Nintendo 64 game, so it's inherently bad. What's this? I have no idea. Break it with your face. Yeah, of course you can't. Uh, that probably requires like Donkey Kong or something, or Chunky, I don't know. Hello, I've got just enough bananas to get into the third level. Aw, oh, yeah. There's also those Mario Party games, Mario Party's one through three. Oh, I got a fun story about Mario Party, I can say, after we watch this introductory cutscene. There's one of the Kongs, get him! Yeah, catch me if you can. What am I, are we supposed to be watching like a TV program or something? Because they obviously don't have me in captivity. Come on. Okay, two more runs, here's your chance. Ah! Uh, Bullshit, the jetpack would not be able to take off that fast. He would have been captured. You say that you like Tui as well, but it's got its problems. Absolutely. I, I went back and tried to play Banjo Tui recently, not too long ago, but yeah, it's got problems. As much as I love Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tui is tough. And there's Chunky. Yeah. Help me, I don't like heights. Yeah. So I was over at my friend's Kirk. Uh, I was over at my friend Kirk's house the other day, and we were playing Mario Party. Mario Party 8, I believe, for the Switch. I'm not sure exactly if that's 8 or maybe it's 10. I have no idea. But we were playing the Mario Party for the Switch, and it, it was using some mini games from previous Mario Parties. There were a couple of times where I went, hey, I remember that mini game. That mini game was in Mario Party 2. I very distinctly remember that one. And at one point, we were saddled with a 1v3 minigame. And I went, okay, let's see what we get. And it was Tug of War. And I went, oh, there's a Tug of War game in this Mario Party. Interesting. There was a Tug of War game in Mario Party 1, too. That wasn't a very good one. But let's see what they did for this one. And it loads up. And it's the exact same Tug of War from Mario Party 1. And I said, no. Oh, there. Okay. So... It's the same one, but certainly there's a new input mechanic, because if you remember, the original Tug of War for Mario Party 1 had you frantically spinning the control stick like this. And it was so bad that it actually caused people to lose skin on their hands because they were trying to spin it, they put the control stick between their thumb and index finger and just rub their hands all over it. And I thought, Oh, okay, so it's the same tug of war game, but maybe you have to press the A button really fast to tug of war, or maybe you have to enter in a sequence. Nope, it's the exact same input sequence. You have to rotate the control stick as fast as you can. And before the mini game begins, it says on the screen, warning, do not put the control stick between your thumb and index finger and rub as hard as you can. And it's like, I'm gonna. And I did, and I won that mini game. I can't believe you brought it back. What is wrong with you? Nintendo sold a fucking glove for that mini game. Yeah, they did. That mini game was so bad, that and a couple others were so bad that they, <laughs> they actually sent out gloves for people to use to play it if you filled out the form, cause it was bad. <laughs> the fuck your hands control scheme. Exactly. I honestly couldn't believe they had brought it back. But maybe it's because it's so memorable they decided to. But still, I think, I mean, yeah, you could. Is that good reasoning? Malaria is memorable as well. We don't want it. Oh, yeah. Remember tuberculosis? Oh, yeah, I remember. Let's leave that in the past where it belongs. I mean, it's still out there killing tens, hundreds of thousands of people every year, but you don't hear about it very often in America and other richer nations. Anyway, that's a whole thing, isn't it? Mario Party 8 was the Wii generation. Okay, so it's it's called Super Mario Party. Yeah. Mario Party 8 was Wii generation. I thought it was something like that, yeah. Yep, it's the factory level, all right. It's the factory level. Yep, these, these obnoxious enemies. These enemies that don't die. You know, I can't forget about these enemies. They're pretty memorable for me, all right. 
Boy, this certainly seems like good game design, huh? Who doesn't love invincible enemies that never die? Will we play Mario Party? Probably not. That seems like a very maddening game. We have more fun playing other things. I don't think we'll play that, no. You say, thank God your first console was a PlayStation 2. Well, it's not like the PlayStation 2 didn't have its share of stinkers and bad control schemes, but... Yeah, I don't think there's any PlayStation 2 game that'll fuck up your head quite that much. Fuck that stick spinning move. Yeah, I honestly am surprised they brought it back. It really is surprising. You love this level? It's not awful aesthetically. I, I remember it aesthetically, but I also remember these enemies being obnoxious as hell. It's probably no Grunty's Industries. God, that was awful. You say the factory music for DK Country was so good, and then this game has this. Yeah, it's not awful, but it's certainly not the best that we've ever seen from these rare games. Certainly could have been. Could have been better, could have been worse. It's not offensive, but it's not amazing. You like Donkey Kong 64, but of all the N64 rare games, Banjo-Tooie is probably your favorite? That's fair. Banjo-Tooie Banjo has got a lot of redeeming qualities, but it's also got a lot of problems that I have difficulty getting over these days. Yeah, I think I'm done for the night. I don't really need to delve too deep into the factory level. This game is, again, this game is less tedious when you have the Tag Anywhere mod on, but it's still kind of a pain. Yeah, there are better games to play these days. Oh, the factory level, yeah, there's multiple levels, so it's not as bad as Grunty Industries, but it's, uh, it's got multiple levels still. You know, that's kind of a pain to navigate, I'm sure. I don't know. I think this is where I stopped playing when I was playing when I was younger. Because, uh, yeah, I don't, I think there's a cove level after this, but I don't remember ever playing the cove level, so I think this is just where I stopped. Can you just grenade those guys? Can you? Possibly. Oh, I guess you can one-shot them, yeah. If you use the grenade. I think they respawn in a few seconds, though, if I recall correctly. Maybe I'm misremembering, but I'm pretty sure they're obnoxious no matter which we... Or maybe I just didn't figure out you were supposed to grenade them. Maybe I just never figured it out. I mean, it's rare, so I'm guessing these enemies come back after 15 seconds, because that's what they did. You say for you, this level you don't think was the worst level for DK64? Yeah, I don't think it's awful, but again, it's where I stopped, so I don't really have a whole lot to compare it to in this game. You say the day-night level was the worst for you. I'm guessing that's, like... <laughs> oh, gross. I'm guessing that's, like, the fifth or sixth level, because I... I've never played this far into the game. I've gotten to the factory. I remember there being some jack-in-the-box enemies that were a pain in the butt, too. And... Oh, wait! Oh, man, it, if we can get to my... I do remember this level having a pretty fun boss, but I don't think we'll be able to get to him tonight. Yeah, that insane duck boss. The duck boss jack-in-the-box. Yeah, I remember that being a lot of fun. Hey, oh wait. Oh, nope, never mind, hold on. I, I, I don't need to fight you. I'm just going down here. Goodbye. Your first console was the second Genesis? I remember that one. Oh, there is fall damage in this game. Ah, you are all a bunch of dicks, aren't you? How dare you make me endure fall damage. Yeah, the grenades aren't amazing. If I could shoot them out of my gun, that'd be awesome, but I can't. Yeah, it just kind of sucks. Hey, the production room. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> yeah, the music is kind of silly. I can see this music. I can see this music becoming quite maddening. Ah, this is the area with the... No? Okay, maybe I'm misremembering. I thought this is where the jack-in-the-boxes were. Ah, oh, you goofy, Lanky. You goofy, and we love you for it. Hey, Cranky's Lab, don't mind if I do. Come on, but Hey, Balloon, didn't you hear that? Concert I played? All my enemies are supposed to be dead now, and you're an enemy. Stop drifting, wafting, erratically. Oh, you suck. I'm gonna run out of ammo. Oh, screw you. Die, you balloon, die! I hate you! I hate you! Alright, fine. I'm done trying to shoot that banana. I don't care enough. You know, now that I think about it, it might have been better from that vantage point. It might have been easier to hit, now that I think about it. Maybe don't stand directly underneath the balloon. Baboon balloon! You can now float. Like in Mario 64 DS. Deflate himself. 
just like a balloon. I'm tiny. What do you do now? What do we do now? What do we do now? Ah, oh, the ponytail twirl. Nice. <laughs> nice. And now you can double jump. Nice. The best way to travel. So I'm gonna be Tiny Kong a bit more now. Hey, it's me, I'm Monkey Man. I'm back. Just seven coins? I got it. I got some money. Gorilla Grab. Uh, when you find a lever, ah, you can now pull levers. Great, we finally learned how to pull a lever as Donkey Kong. Glad we unlocked that. Sometimes these are just silly. And what does Diddy Kong get? Simeon Spring! Oh, double jump! Ah, but you had to be on a spring pad, eh? Very well. Lame, but I'll take it. Well, there's Chunky again. How do we free him, though? Oh, yeah. That's some good stuff. Spring! Yeah! Well, there's the boss arena. We'll get there in a second, I think. I think we might need a few more bananas beforehand, though. Oops, wrong one. You say the instruments get get upgrades. Oh, I did not know that. Hey! We freed Chunky! Oh, you go for green, do you? Alright. Now we're playing as all five Kongs. Aw, yeah. You know, I can see myself coming back and playing a bit more of this game in the future. Once I forget how bad some of its aspects are. Because I am still having fun with it. I absolutely would not want to 100% this game. It does seem incredibly maddening, but I think it could still be fun. But I am the kind of person who does want to 100% things, so... Get, get a little under my skin that I can't. Or I could, but it would be frustrating. Am I having fun playing it or having fun making fun of it? It can be both. It can be both. It can be delightfully camp and stupid. I, it's, it's a product of its time, for good or for bad. For better or worse, it is what it is. What is Chunky Kong's thing? I can't recall, actually. I guess he's just kind of strong. I, I think he's supposed to be the strongest, but that's also Donkey Kong's thing, so I don't know. I think he's just big. He big Kong. What was that frame rate? All right, there we go. All right, tiny platforming section. How do we get up here? It's a lot more difficult when you're tiny. It would be nice if you didn't have to collect a, a timer refill. It's kind of ridiculous that you have to go collect crystal coconuts. Another gaming decision I can't say I agree with. It would have been better without that. Just give me a 20 second time limit for the jetpack and call it good. I'll make me collect crystals. Oh, can I see out here? Can I see out the window? There it is, there's a jack-in-the-box enemy. No, it's not an enemy. I seem to recall there being a jack-in-the-box enemy, but I don't see it. I could play some classic Donkey Kong there if I wanted to. All right, let's see if we can do that boss battle, why not? Donkey Kong, I got 15 bananas. How many do you need? I have 15, 200. I'll be back once I've got more, I think. Yeah, there's no way I have enough yet. I kind of wanted to finish it off with one of my favorite boss battles. Maybe I'll play for a little bit longer. I gotta stop playing soon, though. Gotta wrap things up. Hey, there's a Donkey Kong pad here. Another one of these barrel blasting mini games. All right. I'm doing my best. I'm getting better at this stupid mini game. I think. Oh. There's an optional thing there, eh? Am I just going around in circles now? I guess I'll try for that ring. Did I hit it? I guess I hit it. All right. Ooh, hello. There we go. Success. The Donkey Kong in the original arcade is supposed to be Cranky Kong, according to the lore. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Pretty sure that's the case. Yep. What did I just do? What did I open? What did I unlock? I did it, but now what? I didn't, I didn't get a banana or anything for that. What the heck? I, I feel like I got screwed here. Well, let's see what uh, Chunky here can do. Does he have enough coins? Is three enough? Yeah, he's got enough. But three coins, what do we got? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 
Special barrel, all right. Next time I see the special barrel, I can do that. I'll probably get really big. And I'll come back once I've got more money so I can learn the other moves. Yeah, it's time to learn the, uh, I probably don't have enough coins, actually. Gotta come back to get the instrument for Chunky. Oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Like you could ambush me while I was going into first person. Nice try, chumps. Maybe Chunky can knock down this gate? Maybe. Nah, it doesn't seem like it. Nah. Might need an upgrade first. All right, back out into this room. What else we got to work with? Can I go this way, maybe? I can. Seems like it might be hot, though. I don't know. I'm just going in circles. This place is kind of tough to navigate. Yeah, I think I might be able to knock some stuff down as Chunky, because I think he is supposed to be... Like, they act like Donkey Kong is the strongest, but then they introduce Chunky, and uh, surprise, he's the strongest. Everything we said about Donkey Kong being strong? Yeah, we were bluffing. There's always a stronger Kong, just like there's always another transformation for uh, a Super Saiyan to get into. They'll make one up. You think I can grenade that gate? Didn't I try that? I'll try it again. I thought I tried it previously, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe I was grenading the wrong gate. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be working. Maybe if I get some distance? You gotta, like, nail it perfectly, perhaps? Well, that didn't seem to work, did it? Yeah, I'm not having any success with this. Yeah, no luck. Oh, well. Maybe the darker looking bus busted gate? Maybe, maybe that one will work. You're going off of 20 year old memories. <laughs> Fair enough, so am I. Oh, my pelvis! <laughs> it was worth it. That fall damage was worth it, it saved me some time. That is reject, can't do anything with that. Hey, how you doing? Get out of here, knock it off, knock it off, get out of here, go away. You suck, go away. Guess I'm going down this way. I gotta keep on going down, I suppose. Well, thanks for stopping by, Zealot. I'll enjoy what I can, yeah. Ah, and that's how you open the gate. Apparently I forgot to ground pound that switch, cause that's how you do that. Well, we have enough coins now. Let's go get that triangle. Hey, thank you for the raid, Zach. I didn't realize you were still streaming. Hope you had a great night. For three coins, you get a... Thank you, Candy. Why, hello there. <laughs> I'll show you how to use your instrument, Chunky. Just bring it closer to me. It's a triangle. It shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Why did they make the monkey lady hot? This is this is back in the N64 era, the PlayStation 2 era, where people, were, like, video game characters were just allowed to be super hot. Yeah, we'll just throw in a random character in our child's game. Uh, she's got, like, double D-sized breasts. Like, they do that for a lot of games, I can recall. A couple of Ratchet and Clank games, Jack and Daxter games. And of course, they're always super polygonal because there's not a whole lot of fidelity, but... Yeah, they got away with it, all right. They never got called out on it. I'm not complaining, though. People wonder why furries are a thing. Nobody wonders, we all know. Ah, this gate right here. Yeah, I tried to grenade this one earlier. I think I might need a special move as Chunky to knock it down. Don't think I can charge anyone as Diddy either. Nah, it'd be nice if I could, but I must need another move to get down there. Remember the boob Easter egg in Ratchet? Ah, oh, yeah, in Ratchet and Clank, if you jumped in a, in a specific way in front of the, uh, the referee for the race, you just kept on jumping and her boobs kept on growing. I remember. Doesn't Chunky have a roll attack? He does, yeah. I don't know if it'll work on that, though. Seems kind of arbitrary, I suppose, but then again, this, kind, this game is kind of arbitrary. Yeah, there's no way I have enough bananas to fight the boss. I really, I really like to fight the boss, though. I'd like to wrap up the stream by fighting the boss, but I don't have nearly enough bananas. All right, I'm not gonna waste my time until I get all the bananas. Well, you know, not all the bananas, but enough to go fight the boss. You were playing Control again! Ah, you were playing that the other day as well. I know you enjoy that game. What made you want to go back to it recently? I'm curious. 
I'm pretty sure you've beaten it before. But then again, it's not like you can't go back and play games that are great just because you beat them previously. Nothing, you just wanted to play it. Fair enough. Fair enough. I guess I'm going back up to the very first, you know, I probably should take the warp pads. That'll probably save me some time, is just taking the warp pads. But I'm pretty sure if I go back to the top floor now, I'll be fine. Where's the fast travel pads? <laughs> I need more fast travel pads, it's taking me too long. I'm impatient. I haven't shot that balloon yet. I still, I still gotta shoot that dumb balloon. This balloon is the bane of my existence. Yeah. Where'd it go? There it is. Get back here, you little bastard. I'll get you! I'll get you, you little- There you go! Got it eventually. So, I guess I gotta go up manually. This is the room. I remember those blocks. This has gotta be the room with the jack-in-the-box. Right? Oh, hello, hello. Ouch. Oh, oh, there's dice! I'm being attacked by die! I don't remember that enemy. Hey. Yeah, I don't remember the dice and the... I, I think I do remember the domino, though. Weird how I don't remember one, but not the other. I thought there was a jack-in-the-box and mini enemy around here, but maybe I'm misremembering. Bit of a little platforming section here is all good. Golden banana, maybe? Golden banana for me for all my platforming efforts? Not yet. You gotta do a mini game first, apparently. Very well. Welcome to bonus stage. Peril Path Panic. Shoot the clap traps to clear the fairy's path. Fire a melon and shoot the melon to reload. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, how many fairies do I gotta keep alive? Because right now it's not been a lot. Fuck you, I don't wanna! They wake up at different intervals, it's annoying. Alright, my strategy is just to fire like crazy. Alright, my strategy worked, cool. Didn't really have a rhyme or reason, I just fired non-stop until they died. But apparently that was good enough for me. Oh, oh banana! Platano, platano, platano! Okay, we're done with that nonsense. Hey, more bananas! What the, why didn't you? Alright. Come on, I'll do it myself, fine. Jeez. Oh, oops, hold on. Okay, here's another fairy. How do I deal with this fairy? It's blue, so it'd be Lanky, right? Lanky, shoot it! Shoot the fairy! What's it? I don't know what you do with the fairy! Charm the fairy with your trombone! Aren't you wooed? Aren't you charmed? Give him the old razzle dazzle! Didn't work. Alright, I have no idea how to do that. No idea how to deal with the fairy. Take a picture of it. Oh, I don't have a camera yet. It's a little puzzle here is what we got. A little puzzle here. Got a ground pound these switches in the right order, do I? Something like that. Seems like it might be nonsense. But I've heard of worse puzzles. Which one is six and which one is nine? You're playing Fallout 4 and the guards have special dialogue for Halloween. Do they have dialogue for all holidays? I think they do, actually. There are little touches like that, like when we went into the main tub of, uh, main hub of Diamond City and suddenly there was Christmas stuff everywhere. I believe they will react to holidays in-game, yeah. I've never heard of the, the Halloween dialogue, but it really would not surprise me. Um, am I done here then, I guess? I guess so. That was that area cleared. Frickin' camera. I don't have a camera. I don't have a camera. Grenade it. Serenade it. Well, I played it. What else we got in this hub area, eh? I need more bananas to fight the boss, please. I want to fight the boss tonight. Oh, there's only two holidays they react to? That's kind of unfortunate. But then again, you gotta program every holiday and I bet take some time. Hey, to hear it's Christopher Columbus Day. <laughs> you mean Indigenous Peoples Day? Oh, is that what we're calling it now? Well, it's a holiday, right? We still get the day off? Shoot the orange. Good. Now the melon. 
Now the banana. Now the banana. Aw, oh, damn it, really? Really? You're not gonna give me infinite ammo for this bullshit? Really? All right, guess I'm done here. Come on. Oh, you're driving me nutty over here. Hey, is that who I think it is? It's Gun Kong, my favorite Kong. Can you give me an upgrade for my guns? Also, can you refill my ammo? Because I don't have any ammo. Ammo belt, oh yeah, for three coins, I'm down for that. All Kongs get a bonus ammo belt, nice. Do I have to come back here with every single Kong to get even more upgrades? Well, I'm gonna, I guess. I'll try them all out. Yeah. Here we go, we got a cool shooter. There we go, the pineapple grenade launcher. Oh, I've never used this before. How do you activate the safety? This isn't my first time firing a gun that shoots pineapples. Don't worry. This ain't my first rodeo. All right, monkey man. Do I get a bonus ammo belt? Nope, still working on stuff. Very well. And now I can shoot this balloon right... Oh, there it is. Thank you for refilling my ammo. There we go. Nice. Is there anything else in here that I need to get to? No, we're good. Okay, we're good. Let's bail. And now I can go do Tiny's minigame if I wanted to. Eh, might as well. I know it's there. I'm so tiny. Look at me. I'm so tiny. I am calling to the event right now. I'm so tiny. I'm so tiny. Look at my pigtails. They're all so tiny. All right. Stomp. There we go. Aim gun. Okay. I stepped over the line. Penalty. That's a foul. This game is finicky. Melon. This game is so finicky. Oh, and it gets reset if I screw up. That's good. That's good. Because the controls are so precise here. Fuck. Really? Crystal. Really? This? Wow. This is pretty damn awful, all right. <laughs> really? Come on. Seriously now? I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> well, this game is broken, as I see. Yep, not functional, unfortunate. There we go, and finally, God. Oh, you earned this. Tiny, tiny, tiny Kong. That's my name. Get it right. And I unlocked a fairy? The hell did I just unlock? Well, apparently it's out there. All right, back out to the main hub world. What did I just unlock around here? All right. Ah, I have inflated myself just like a balloon. And is this for me? Welcome to bonus stage. Batty Barrel Bandit. Bonus round. Oh goodness me. Line up four bananas to win the jackpot. Press A to spin. <laughs> what? I'm gambling now? Oh, it's a timing thing, is it? All right. And it's timed. I mean, it doesn't seem like the hardest thing in the world. Keep try. Oh, I gotta do it three times? Oh, okay, a little harder then. Gonna get incrementally harder, I guess. If I screw up once, well if I screwed up once, I'm worried they would just reset everything. I had to do it all over again, but that's not the hardest thing in the world. It's fine. It wasn't even really gambling. It was just a timing minigame. Lanky, lanky, lanky Kong. You know, other people are in this game besides Donkey Kong, you know. Just saying. So there's a fairy here, I believe. Yeah, fairy is here. Don't know how to deal with that still. Oh, I got crushed to death. That happens. Oh, come on! My life! Where is that uh, business that just got erected? But I built a building somewhere. Is it right here? No, it's the armory. A building did go up recently. Remember what DK says, kids. 99% of gamblers quit before they win big. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, I'm losing it, I'm losing it. Splat. Am I actually done in this room? Now that I think about it? I think I might be. That's where I'm pretty sure I, oh, no, I thought I came from here, but I guess not, because there's still stuff to collect here. Did I have it in the first place? I did, I did, but it's ta it's been taken from me. I've been robbed. Finding a lot of coins, which that, that's good. Back to the R and, oh, first time on the R and D level, all right. Oh, uh, what's this? Ah, oh, guitar. <laughs> Blanky is pretty good, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they never brought him back. Oh, okay. I got a one, three, four, two. Charging, I'm guessing? Yes. Uh, one, three, four, two did not open anything. Oh, wait, did I not hit two yet? I did hit two yet. There we go. Uh-oh. I see we're fighting now. Ouch. There's that. That's good. Do I have to shoot you with my gun? Are you vulnerable to that? Yes. Okay, we've killed these enemies now. That's good. I guess I gotta fight all these enemies. Three, one, two, four is next. I do have unlimited ammo there to, and a balloon to pop. Oh, okay. Door closes. And there's the enemies. Thanks for bringing that to my attention. I'll have to definitely pop it while I got the infinite ammo. Oh, I guess I don't have infinite ammo unless I'm in battle, huh? If I have infinite ammo, I'm not sure. Oh, there's three balloons I gotta pop here, eh? All right, infinite, uh, we'll try to get the infinite ammo and do that. Four, two, three, one. Provided I'm not being attacked while I'm trying to shoot at him, you know. Is it, wait, is that not the number? Four, two, three, one, oh, okay. Oh, can't I just get Chunky over here to knock these in? Or Donkey Kong, I'm pretty sure you could hit a button. Who even makes buttons you have to hit with your head? It seems like bad design. Oh, I have a concussion. Oh, those are moving fast. Uh, nope, 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 nope. I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> Bail. Ah, yes, infinite ammo indeed. Die, balloon, die. That's one. No, leave me be. Oh, you can throw grenades in first person. I wasn't aware. That's handy. This way, over here, dummy, over here. Hey, nut job. You got a screw loose, get over here. Ah, oh, you're dead. That was worth it. Well, that was honestly fun, I like that. Where's this go? Ah, a new area. There's so many twists and turns. Nailed it. All right, what's down here? Oh. Um, danger high voltage, huh? What is this? Well, whatever it is, we're going in, apparently. You say this is always your favorite level of the game, just for all the different stuff you have to do for the bananas, minus the boss. I actually remember the boss quite fondly. Uh, switch pulling time, I guess. I turned on the TV. Checking, starting, auto production. That's right, we're making cars. Danger, danger, high voltage. Fire the disco. Well, now there's moving machinery. It's gonna be a bit more difficult to navigate around, huh? Or will it be easier? Well, we unlocked a whole bunch of more stuff to investigate. <laughs> banana, yeah, we got a banana. Donkey, 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 dog. Yep, you know it. Still haven't found that camera. Why does Rare need busy factories? I think it... I think the setting of a busy factory lends itself well to platformers because it just means that there inherently be moving platforms in conveyor belts. Oh god, it's timed. Oh, oh no, it's timed. Ah, oh, fuck. Of course I fell off. Is there an easy way to get back up there? I doubt it. Just give me my jetpack. I'll, I'll just take the jetpack. It's fine. And so because I missed that jump, I got to go all the way back up there, all the way, all the way up there. Come back and drop down and try it again, or I can say, fuck that. I can say it's not worth my time. Yeah, let's say that. You know, you could go to, you could try to 100% this game if you're a masochist, but you know, I think I won't be doing that. All right, what's up here on this high moving conveyor belt that's hurting my frames because now there's so many moving parts. Damn you, camera! Damn you, camera! 
I hate you so much, camera. Man, this frame rate is really chugging. Oh, it's it's painful. It's a little painful. I probably do have enough bananas for that boss fight now, yeah. Wait, why am I playing as Diddy when I could be playing as someone who can actually glide? Crap! Fuck! God damn it. Try again. There we go. Made it there. Whose balloon is this? Mine? All right. Time to die, balloon. Good, good. Oh, this frame rate hurts so bad. We're getting like 15 to 20 frames. Yay. Hooray. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm doing it. Higher and higher and higher we go. Okay, now I'm riding what this? I'm riding this, am I? Yeah. I can't see. I can't see, camera. Why? I can't see. Camera, you've betrayed me again. Fuck you. I hate you, camera. I hate you. All right, let's go to that boss battle and be done with this stupid game. You know, there there is some joy to be gained from playing older games, but we've definitely made enough technological advances that cause less pain, such as having a consistent frame rate. Here, have my 20 green bananas. They're not ripe yet. They're not ripe yet. Oh, that's gonna hurt tomorrow. See, these are ripe bananas. These are safe to eat. Maybe not 85 of them in a single sitting. Maybe that's overkill. Maybe you'll die. Are you enjoying these delicious slurping noises he's making? Yes. Delightful. <laughs> Definitely got your fill of potassium, but he's gonna die of radiation poisoning because there's a little bit of minute radiation in every banana. There we go. It's time for the boss battle and it's gonna be even worse than I remember. I remember it fondly and it's gonna suck. I remember this boss battle. I had to tr I had to play it for four hours until I cur uh, until I completed it, right? Hopefully, as soon as I go in that building, the frame rate will improve a little bit. God. Oh, we're chugging. We are chugging along. All right, here we are. Platforms rise. Up at the top. What? What's going on? What could it be? There it is. There's the jack in the box I remember. Yeah. <laughs> Sup, friend? And? <laughs> the evil mutated duck monster jack in the box. Yes. <laughs> let's, let's do it. Let's fight. I don't remember how you beat this boss. Do I shoot you with my gun? Oh wait, I gotta hit a switch, don't I? That sounded like Gruntilla's laugh, but slowed down a little bit. All right, gotta keep an eye out for where the other switch is. Where is that other switch? Oh God, the camera just flipped on me like a switch. <laughs> Ow! I took damage, but what happened? I don't know. He just kind of bugged out a little bit. That's number two. I think the design of this boss is just so dang cool. Boss battle itself might be a little, might be a little tricky. Oh! It has to correspond to the same color he's on. That's right. Because there's two switches available. Yes. Okay, he's on the white one now. Where's the white switch? Found it! And now he's gotten faster. Hey, we did the rule of threes! We should be good. Oh god, he's come back! Apparently he actually homes it on you now. Oh god, no! 
Okay, I don't instant fail if I fall off. That's good. Uh-oh. <laughs> God, come on. Hopefully, it did not reset his health. I don't think so. He's moving pretty fast. <laughs> Are you going to be done anytime soon? We're just going back and forth. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He finally stopped it. I wasn't ready for it because he had lulled me into a false sense of security. Five bounces, six bounces, seven bounces, eight, nine, ten, oh, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen and he's on the white spaces. Done? He's not done! He's invisible! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Luckily, the spaces light up when he's on him. Good boss battle music. Aw, oh, what? Come on. <sighs> Which way are you gonna go? You can see the sparks. All right, he's on the white one. Oh, mostly because he had to do a lot of dodge and get to dodge his attacks for like a minute, minute straight. But hey, first try! <laughs> if you ignore the times that I fell off, which I do ignore because they didn't kill me. Now, whatever doesn't kill me makes me stronger, so I must be super duper strong. You swear as a kid the boss fight reset entirely if you fell off? Maybe, but I guess when you're older they give you a bit more leeway. <laughs> All right, well, I think that'll be it for now. Oh boy, I'm stuck in a loop. This is unfortunate. Oh, there we go. All right, well, that was a fun time. We had a good time, I think. At least I did. Hope y'all did too. You gotta, you gotta be at work at five in the morning, so you can head to bed. All right, sounds good to me, Belle. I just killed a bee by playing a saxophone. How many other games let you do that? How many other games allow you to kill flying mechanical bees with a saxophone? And then they go, sputter, sputter, pow. You just put a lit grenade back in your pocket, girl. I can hear this fuse going off! <sighs> oh no, it's in my pocket! Oh no! Oh no! Play a triangle! <laughs> that saved my life! <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Might be an ability I unlock later, I don't know. But I'm not gonna find out, because I've had my fill of this game. It's been fun, but I don't need to see anymore. I had a theory where if I had the ability to swap at any point between Kongs, it would be a much nicer game, and it is! But it's still not amazing. I'd say it's up to a 7 out of 10 at this point. It's like a 7 out of 10, you know? And I'm an 8 or more kind of guy these days. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Fun idle animations. It's been real and it's been fun, but has it been real fun? <laughs> but that'll be it for me. Yeah, we'll definitely continue Ocarina of Time in the future. Maybe try some, try some Majora's Mask. But I think now is a good time to leave Donkey Kong 64 where it is. In the annals of history, remembered not quite as fondly as it may have wanted to. Infamous for its frequent backtracking and time-wasting mechanics. And also, it's unnecessarily difficult mini games. You know, that the couple of racing get, mini games we found so far not exactly fun. Didn't want to play that Superman 64 mini game. Not great, not great. No, no. You say Donkey Kong 64 was good for its time, but nowadays it can be a slog. I believe it can be. A, I believe it was a slog back in the day, which is why quite a few people did not play it. It's definitely again. It's definitely less of a slog if you have the Tag Anywhere mod. If you, if I didn't have that mod, 
I probably would have been done with this an hour or two ago. Once I saw how much backtracking there was. But being able to swap Kongs at the press of a button is so much nicer. Oh, it's so much nicer. And honestly, Banjo Tui would benefit from this system as much. Just as much. You say save just in case you forget why you stopped playing and come back to this one, sure. You were disappointed in the graphics back then? <laughs> ah, you were a graphics snob. Then so what were you playing the N64? PlayStation had much better graphics, right? Right? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not as much. Maybe it wasn't until the PlayStation 2 that graphics got real good. Maybe. <laughs> no, you're an Xbox kind of guy, Chunky. All right, fair enough. I'm not gonna engage in that petulant console war drama. That's not for me. I'm better than that. And honestly, so are you. You're better than that too. Yeah, exactly. You're the best. You're the best, the best. You don't have to engage in that kind of nonsense. Nah. You say Donkey on SNES was a graphical miracle. An absolute marvel for SNES times. But Donkey Kong 64's graphics were for its time and platform just normal. That's fair, actually. If you were a big Donkey Kong Country fan and you were anticipating Donkey Kong 64, I can imagine this seeming like a downgrade. One of the few games that downgraded in graphical quality once it jumped from 2D to 3D. Quite notably, because yeah, the 2D SNES Donkey Kong games were pretty amazing, all right. Definitely, from, from a graphical sp perspective, if nothing else. You didn't find it a real downgrade? Well, I suppose to each their own. I can't speak person. I can't. I cannot speak from personal experience. As I've said, I've not played a whole lot of that. I grew up with the N64 and then found out that the SNES existed later. So it's hard for me to make that kind of uh, accurate comparison myself. But I can see how you could both have that or not have that, depending on just kind of what your preferences are. You say pretty much all games made a graphical downgrade when jumping from 2D to 3D because first generation polygons look like origami <laughs> with used toilet paper. I don't know, I feel like the jump from Mario from 2D to 3D was pretty significant. I thought that was good. But then again, I can't say accurately because again, I just grew up with the N64. N64 was just what I knew. But yeah, that'll be it for tonight. Thank you all once more for stopping by and joining me as I revel in the nostalgia and experimentation of Donkey Kong 64 with the, with the Tag Anywhere mod on. Definitely recommend it. If you do want to play Donkey Kong 64, the Tag Anywhere mod, I believe is invaluable. I would be willing to keep going if I could keep the Tag Anywhere mod on, but I wouldn't want to keep playing if I couldn't. 